here with Mark Nelson from Rio Grande. And you know, Mark, we're talking about taking it to the next level. And oftentimes we see these beautiful, you know, glass focal mm -hmm. pendants. And now you're going to show us how we can actually create all of these pieces ourselves. Right, you can kind of create your own personal gems mm -hmm. uh, to set in um, your jewelry. Now we're working with a great medium. We're working with glass. Yes. Which yes. is very cool. It comes in lots of different colors. It also comes in sheet, uh, frit, which is crushed, mm -hmm. and some confetti, which is really thin sheets. That's great. And so there's a whole bunch of variety there. All right, let's make something fun. Okay. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to make um, a little fused pendant kind that we can turn into a pendant. Mm -hmm. And right here I have some, uh, some red that I'm going to use. And first thing you need to do is cut your pieces. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to wear um, some glasses. And then what you want to do is take a cutter and you need to score, score your pieces. And one thing about scoring is if you try to go straight, look at the end of where you're mm -hmm. going. Okay. And then we'll come over here. And these are running pliers. And these are specially made so that makes it really easy, really safe to break the glass. Okay. See how easy that is? And you just keep doing that into the little pieces. Now, is there something specific with the glass that it has to be the same with the pieces? Is it a... Uh, yes, it's called a COE, coefficient okay. of expansion. Okay. And that's really important because different glasses expand and contract at different rates. Mm -hmm. And if you mix your uh, COEs, your piece, even though it may look fine when you're done, mm -hmm. it could be months down the road and it'll just break oh. unexplainably. So from the beginning of your project, you need to make sure that they're the same. Exactly. Okay, that's a good, um, good tip. <laughs> the frit, the frit, the confetti, the sheet glass, die cork, all of it is the same 96 okay. coefficient. Perfect. Um, so once you have your pieces um, cut, mm -hmm. you want to start with your base as your color, your base color. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy. All you're going to do is you're going to stack your pieces. Okay. And um, one thing that's a little bit important is that you want to pre-clean these. Take some Windex or some... Um, just glass, some glass cleaner, cleaner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and clean them real good, and then you're going to place them wherever you want, whatever looks good to you. The sky's the limit on this. It's a nice combina combination there. Sure, and you can even, uh, this is the frit, which mm -hmm. is crust. This is a medium one. We have some coarse and, and fine uh, confetti, so you can see how thin this mm -hmm. is. You can stack it in here, however you like. Do you have to glue them on or anything, or do they just, you don't have just to. keep them there? You don't have to, but you can. Okay. And what you want to do is, if you feel like it's going to get um, a little loose on you, mm -hmm. you can take some um, enamel adhesive. Okay. And this is uh, adhesive that we use for enameling, also granulation. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about it is that it um, it, it burns off clean. Okay. There's no residue. Right. Perfect. So what you would do is you would go ahead and stack these three, three high. Mm-hmm. And then you would put it on some kiln paper. Okay. And this will keep it from sticking to your shelf. Gotcha. Like this one, I'd probably glue. It's a little squirrely. Because you have just a few of them and a lot right. of different layers. And what you want to do is if you glue it, you can make it, let it dry a little bit. And that decor here is really... Slippery. Slippery, so you can arrange your pieces on there. Okay. Then you're going to put it in the kiln. Mm -hmm. And you're going to heat it up to 1,500 degrees. Okay. And let it sit there for 10 minutes. Uh -huh. And then when you're uh, when it's done for ten minutes, mm -hmm. you can open the door halfway. Okay. Do you need to have protection when you're in the kiln or anything? Eye protection? Only or? if you want to look in the kiln. <laughs> okay. A lot of people. Okay. I mean, it's really fun to look in the kiln, but when you do, you want to wear some kiln glasses. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, once it's after it cools to 1,050 mm -hmm. degrees, you go ahead and shut the kiln. Okay. And let it cool by itself till it's um, it's a really slow cool down. And you're looking at it right now that this is the piece uh, in its completed form. And I love that we took that beautiful glass with all those colors and then now it's all wire wrapped and it, it takes on a whole new meaning. Exactly. <laughs> my, my friend Patty wire wrapped that. It's pretty. And now there's some other different examples that you've uh, brought with you. And of course, all of the instructions for this project is going to be found on the website. So that's a good thing to exactly. know. But here's some different ideas that we have for using the glass. Exactly, like the pink and white with the black stripes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we actually use that thin confetti in between the layers. Quite there. pretty. Yeah, I like that. Very delicate. And you can um, see in the blue one over there, mm -hmm. um, the the middle layer was a sheet of dichroic di glass mm -hmm. that gives it that iridescence to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. And then also um, with the glass, you can you can obviously glue you know your bale onto mm -hmm. it. Right. You can also use um, gold foil yes. in between the layers. Twenty-four karat though. 
It has to be 24 karat or else it won't work. I have to say that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is with that wonderful gold foil. And then, of course, you can make it into any design that you want. If you have a few of them on a bracelet, if you oh, have them exactly. on a necklace, whatever it is. Anything you it's want. All great. Good. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. We'll be right back, and we're going to go on location next. Awesome. Love that.